Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson looking at differentiating from first principles. Um, last lesson we looked at uh, what calculus was and, and how to um, get the formula for differentiating in first principles. Um, so this lesson we're going to be looking at how to apply it. Um, so the first example we're going to look at the question f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x. Now hopefully, after looking at that first lesson, you'll remember um, that the derivative, or f dash x, is equal to fx plus h minus f of x all over h, which was our rise over our run. Remembering that when we are finding the derivative of a function, we're actually finding the value of a gradient, either as a general form or at a particular point. In this term, we're actually just finding the general form. So we need to have two things. We need to know what f of x is, okay, which we've already got there. But we also need to know what f of x plus h is going to be. If you recall from the last lesson, in order to find f of x plus h, we simply substitute x plus h wherever the x's are. I like putting brackets in there as well. Okay. Now you can do this whilst you're going. I like to do it beforehand, so it's a bit more simplified. Okay, x plus h all squared means x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Then let's expand the last brackets out. We get fx plus 5h. So 5x plus 5h. Um, and that's simplified. So let's put it into our formula now. f dash x is equal to, now f of x plus h, which is that bit there, so it's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 5x plus 5h minus, now you could put this in brackets if you would like, I just put it straight away as minus x squared minus 5x, like last lesson we showed you that was because it's this, we're taking away x squared plus 5x, and remember when you expand your brackets out, they both become negatives all over h. Okay, now if we do this correctly some things will, will be eliminated. For example, x squared minus x squared disappears, 5x minus 5x disappears, so we're left with 2xh plus h squared plus 5h all over h. Now you'll also notice here that we've got h's in all things, so we can simplify by crossing those h's out and crossing one of those out, which leaves us with 2x plus h plus 5. Now the one thing I haven't put in here, which I probably should have done at the beginning part, was that the limit is h approaches 0. So again, the limit as h approaches 0. So the final bit here where we would have f dash x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0, 2x plus h plus 5, therefore f dash x is equal to. So remember, as h approaches 0, so we're taking it as h is 0, so 2x plus 0 plus 5 is simply 2x plus 5. So the derivative of fx equals x squared plus 5x is simply 2x plus 5. Now, they could ask you to find the actual value of the gradient of that at a particular point, for example, at the point x equals 1. In that case, it would be 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7. Or they might ask you when the, um, at the value of x equals 10, so 25. In this case, it's just asked us to find the, uh, the derivative of that function. Okay, first example done and dusted. Next example, we're going to look at is going to be slightly more complicated, but not too much more. Okay, so it's going to be f of x is equal to, um, we'll do 5x squared minus x minus 1. So it might be a good idea for you to pause this, have a quick crack at it, see if you can get it out, and then uh, play the uh, the actual solution. 
Okay, so hopefully these are the steps you've taken. f of x plus h, again I like to do this to start off with. 5 outside of x plus h all squared minus brackets x plus h negative 1. Let's expand that out. We get 5 outside of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x minus h minus 1. Remember the negative works on both the x and the h. So finally it equals 5x squared plus 10xh plus 5h squared minus x minus h minus 1. So we now have our two functions that we need. We need f of x and f of x plus h. So let's put it into our formula. So f dash x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Now remember it's f of x plus h minus f of x. It's our rise, our y2 minus y1. So we've got 5x squared plus 10xh plus 5h squared minus x minus h minus 1. Now we're doing minus this function here. So if I put the minus in front of that, okay, we get minus 5x squared, we get plus x, and we get plus 1 all over h. Now you can do it in more than one line if you want to do the, put that in the first line, that's okay. Okay, so we've got f dash x is equal to as the limit h approaches 0. Now 5x squared minus 5x squared, we've got uh, minus x plus x, we've got minus 1 plus 1. You may even want to go straight away and say now that you've got the 10xh, the 5h squared and the minus h, you might want to divide now and say okay, well h and the h cross out, so we've got 10x the h and the h squared, so we get left with plus 5h, and the h and the h cross out, we get minus 1. So um, the derivative of fx is equal to the limit as h approaches 0, 10x plus 5h minus 1. So f dash x is equal to, or well, 5 times 0 is 0, so we're left with 10x minus 1. Okay, now, again, I could have said um, find the grade at the point 4, 1. In that case, it would be 10 times 4 minus 1. Therefore, um, the gradient would equal um, 39 Okay, at that particular point. But I didn't ask for that, so that, that's just an add-on question. Okay, let's head on now to a bit more complicated question. Okay. So this question is going to ask you to find the derivative from first principles of y equals x to the power of negative 1. Again, the, all these questions are from first principle. And the question will say first principle as well. Okay, so for this question, well, our f of x is x to the negative 1. Now I'm going to write it as 1 over x. Okay. Now our f of x plus h would be 1 over, now just put the x plus h where the x is, so x plus h. Okay, so we've got our two main bits of information. So let's put it into our f dash x, so I'll put it up here. f dash x is equal to, as the limit h approaches 0, now it's f of x plus h, so it's 1 over x plus plus h minus our f of x, which is 1 over x, all over our h. Now it's quite complicated because in this case we have a fraction in a fraction. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do this. Um, it's up to you on how you want to do this. So my way, f dash x is equal to. Now the thing is here, I want to be able to put both of these over a common denominator. Okay, so um, what can I times if, um, x plus h by? I'm going to times it by x. I'm going to times the top and bottom by x. If I times this by x, 
and this by x and the little dot means same as times I'm going to times this by x plus h I'm going to times this by x plus h and what's going to happen I'm going to create the same denominator so 1 times x is just x and we've got a minus then I've got x plus h so minus x minus h all over our x outside of x plus h now I can put it all over h what I'm actually going to do I'm going to times it by so instead of doing um, divide it by h which it is I'm going to h over 1 I'm going to times it by 1 over h so remember I'm going to turn that to a divide and turn it to a times and invert them okay so let's now clean a few things up x minus x disappears okay so I'm just left with remember as the limit h approaches 0 um, minus h over x outside of x plus h times by 1 over h equals as the limit h approaches 0 okay well h and h disappear so I'm left with negative 1 over x outside of x plus h which is the same as negative 1 over x squared plus x h okay now remember as the limit h approaches 0 so h x times h so x times 0 is 0 so I'm simply just left with negative 1 over x squared um, or you could have done that here x plus um, 0 is just x x times x is x squared or we could write that as negative x to negative 2 okay or negative 1x to negative 2 so I've effectively derived the function y equals x to negative 1 from first principles okay that was a pretty tough question wasn't it okay my very last question for example 4 is going to ask to find the gradient to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve um, f of x equals the square root of x at the point negative 1 negative 1 so this question is not only just asking us to find the the gradient of the function but it's at a particular point so I'm going to have an actual answer for this question okay okay so the two things I need I first of all need f of x which I've got there f of x is equal to the square root of x or an x to the power of a half I need to have our f of x plus h, which will be the square root of x plus h, like we've got there. Okay. So now I'm going to put it into my formula. f of dash x equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Now f of x plus h, which is root x plus h, minus f of x, which is root x, all over h okay so this is going to be your most challenging question as you can probably see from first principles now this question at the moment the top part isn't really going to help me too much so often you just got to try to try a few things so this is what I'm going to try I'm going to try timesing it by root x plus h plus root x all over root x plus h plus root x because I want to try somehow clean it up and, and get rid of some of these root x plus h's etc on top because the thing is at the moment if I put the 0 where the h is we're dividing by 0 and that's not going to help us because we know that we cannot divide by 0 so that's why I'm going to try something different so if I try this, 
we have a difference of two squares on the top now. So we square the first, so we get equals our limit as h approaches 0. Square the first, we get x plus h. Square the last, okay, and it's just read x. Remember, difference of two squares. All over, now I've got h outside of root x plus h plus root x. x minus x disappears, so equals the limit as h approaches 0. We've got h over h outside of root x plus h plus root x. Now again, you might notice that h over h, they cancel out. So I'm left with the limit as h approaches 0, 1 over the square root of x plus h plus root x. So f dash x, and now I can put the 0 where the h is. Okay, x plus 0 is simply just x, so I'm left with 1 over root x plus root x, which is 2 root x. Okay, so quite challenging, but I haven't finished the question because this time it actually stipulates that the grade at a particular point. So at this point, x is equal to negative 1. Now I actually did that question wrong should actually be, because we can't find the square root of a negative number, should actually be 1, negative 1. Okay, so that's my bad, sorry. Alright, so find the uh, the value of uh, the gradient at the point 1, negative 1. Well, so now what I'm going to do is going to put the 1 where the x is. So 2 times root 1. Well, the square root of 1 is just 1, so the value of the gradient is simply 1 over 2 or a half. Okay, we could find it at any particular point, obviously making sure that the point lies on the uh, actual parabola. Um, obviously it couldn't be negative there, but uh, yeah, look, that's a really tough question. Each time we're doing the same steps, we're using that formula of x plus h minus root x, um, of f dash x is equal to the function of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, you need to remember that that formula, our rise over our run, and then uh, we can do it that way. Now our next lesson we'll be looking at a much quicker way to find the derivative of a particular function. It is 10 times quicker, however, if the question stipulates that it must be from first principles, that it must be that little formula there. Okay? You can't do the shortcut method, which I'm going to show you in the uh, next lesson. Hopefully, this made sense. And that last question was pretty challenging, but they'll all be pretty simple. They won't be too, 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 too tough like that. Have a good day.